University of Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger says he can't give an alibi at this time because he was out driving when the quadruple slayings happened, RadarOnline.com has learned. Koberger has been accused of stabbing Ethan Chapin, 20, Zana Kernadal, 20, Madison Mogan, 21, and Kaylee Goncalves, 21, at an off-campus home located on King Road in Moscow roughly 10 miles from his apartment in Pullman, Washington, between 3 and 4 a.m. on November 13, 2022. State prosecutors demanded Koberger produce an alibi to reveal his whereabouts during the killings, but on Wednesday, his defense team objected to the request, claiming that the former Ph.D. student-turned-murder suspect has a long habit of going for drives alone, which is what he was allegedly doing when the Chapin, Kernadal, Mogan, and Goncalves tragically lost their lives. While he admits to allegedly driving around in the late night of November 12th and the early morning of November 13th, Koberger is not claiming to be at a specific location, the filing stated. The legal response also revealed that Koberger has no witness to pinpoint precisely where he was during those hours. The defense has stated all that can firmly be stated at this time, the documents read. However, his team claimed it can corroborate his whereabouts through witness testimony during Koberger's October 2nd trial. Corroborating evidence may come from cross-examination of state's witnesses. Corroborating evidence may come from presentation of defense experts. Mr. Koberger is aware of and will comply with his continuing duty to disclose information, the response from his team said. Koberger believes his attorney will call an alibi at trial who can confirm his location at the time, but he doesn't want to elaborate. His lawyer asked the judge to exempt him from further inquiry about the alibi. Koberger is expected to appear in court on August 18 over his argument that his indictment should be dismissed based on error. As RadarOnline.com reported, Koberger was arrested on December 30th after DNA evidence linked him to blood found on a knife sheath that was left at the scene. He was charged with four counts of first-degree murder and faces the death penalty if convicted. Koberger has pled not guilty to the crimes.